You are now listening to 15 Minutes of Fame Radio. Let's go! Live from the 15 Minutes of Fame Studios, 39th and Broadway, in the heart of Bayonne, New Jersey, because we couldn't afford a spot in Manhattan. Welcome to the Shut Up and Talk Show. Give it up for your host, me, motherfuckers. Let's go. All right, man, 15 minutes of fame. Shut Up and Talk Show with Uncle Ra. Appreciate y'all tuning in. Uh, Tonight I got a very special guest all the way from Harlem, New York. My man, 40 Cal. This is where they cue the applause. Right, 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 right. It was good, though. My man, how you? Charlie Bill, you already, man. Thank you for coming through, brother. Yes, yes. I appreciate you, man. Um, We're going to get right down to business, bro. Um, first thing um, I want to start with you is where you from. You from Harlem. Born and raised in Harlem. Facts. Lived in Harlem your whole life? Most of my life. Most of your life. Right. That's like, every, like I, I think I told you before, everybody I know from Harlem, I don't know too many people, too many cornballs from Harlem. Is there like a school that y'all have to attend to be, <laughs> to be as cool as y'all are? I don't know. Harlem just come with its own swag. It, that's why they call it Harlem World. It's so small, and it's just, you know, the funny thing about Harlem, this is a fun fact. I don't know if a lot of people know this. Besides Africa, I'm going to say, right? <laughs> Harlem, I think, is the only place in the world where you can go on one block and it be just black people there. And if it is, like a Spanish person there, his name's Spanish Rob. Spanish raw oh, or white dude be white Mike and all that like word like that's only in Harlem like the west side of Harlem not not East Harlem like like that's that I find that ironic like that's it's only like that in Harlem not in not in the Bronx Queens Staten wherever you know just there so it's it's a lot of separation there I guess like people come and, and they like this is the black black block or the Puerto Rican block shit like that is what you're saying. No, I'm not saying that. It just it just happened to be like that in Harlem. Just like it's just ironic that you can just go to different blocks and different neighborhoods and it, it just predominantly like that. But when I I no, I go I'm in the Bronx, I'm in Queens. It's always a mixture. It's it's more as like, you know, I'm my chilling with my um my Spanish my Spanish bros, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or you know what I'm saying, I'm in Brooklyn, there's a mad Jamaicans, Haitians, you know what I'm saying, Queens, just like that. So you know, and, and Harlem, it just be just straight African American, like word. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Harlem, USA. Word. Harlem, USA. Always been a fan of Harlem. Now, uh, again, I asked before. I, I gotta stop saying I asked you before because we gotta remember we didn't ask you before. Um, you grew up on the West Side, right? The West Side. And is it is Harlem just that the East Side and the West Side? Is there any other parts of Harlem, or is it just East and West? Yeah. Pretty much it's just east and west. You know, it's the um, Spanish Harlem, they call it, or the east side. Um, and then it's west side Harlem. Spanish Harlem. They, 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 if you're from like that part of Harlem, you, you'll you put the east side in. You can't just say, um, I, well, I, you, I can't say you can't. You'll really hear somebody say, yo, I'm from Harlem, but they live on the east. They'd be like, I'm from east Harlem, you know what I'm saying, or east side. Represent. When did you start it? When, like, what was the first time you actually rapped? Because I'm sure you rapped before you battle rapped. I rapped on, like, it was a thing, like, in the neighborhood. And I, I, I ran into people like, um, shout out, um, I always put his name, Charlie Clips. And, um, Young Charlie Clips. <laughs> Young Charlie Clips, yeah. <laughs> Young Charlie Clips. Young Charlie Clips. Um, shout out Fred the Godson. Young mm. Fred the Godson. Um, Old P. Old P. Um, T Rex. They used to call Lux Pop, Pop Lux. And 
that's how that's how we kind of like started. It was like a neighborhood thing. Mm -hmm. You know, you you rep your neighborhood, whatever, because you got bars. So you know, it wasn't no way. It wasn't cameras or no YouTube to get your name up. Right. You know? Oh yeah, not so, back then. Yeah. yeah. So it was just like that. What made you want to rap? Was it seeing the other guys? I'm from 40th. Mm. The building that I'm from has Big L mirror on it. Mm. I got a lot of inspiration from him. He gave, I ain't gonna lie, when I first started rapping, I had some style where I say the whole letters, I don't know, I just was like, I just wanted to be different. So the, the rap was like, I'd be like, Jay jumping Jack Jr. something, <laughs> Jehoofus or Jupiter, you know, whatever, right? I kicked it from for, um, for Al, he was like, that ain't it. <laughs> he actually broke it down like, yo, we be doing compounds, you know what I'm saying? This mm. and that, uh, like the, the compound style at that time. He was and older I, than you? Yeah, yeah, okay. he was older than me. And um, I'm like, damn. He, from then on, I changed it because I'm like, I, that's what people like. I actually watched him battle on the corner before. Like, you know what I'm saying? Just randomly. Like, they just... He just spit some shit. So, so he was one of your biggest inspirations, Big L. Yeah. And he, we can actually say he helped you become who you became, as far as learning how to rap. I mean, I took that piece of knowledge from him, mm -hmm. and I mean, it's ironic, you know. It's, it's, he gave me that, and then, bam, his mirror was on, you know, is on 40th. You know what I'm saying? On that building. 40th, is, is that where 40 Cal comes from? Is it because you from 40th or was it the gun? Because you know, of course, everybody thinks 40 Cal the gun. I mean, of course. But um, my name is Calvin mm -hmm. and I'm from 40th. It kind of makes sense. So. It makes sense. Right. So, But I, I don't, I mean, I'm quite sure some people know, like, I was a fan of you, but not that big of a fan of you. Right. <laughs> to know your name was Calvin. You know, when you, again, everybody thinks 40 cal is the gun. Right, I mean, it's, a, it's guns there, but I'm just right. saying it's 40 cal. It's the, it's, that's, the, that's, that's the origin of the name. Mm. And it's funny, you know, that block just breed a lot of a lot of rappers, you know what I'm saying? It's the same building Cam, Cam was from. And, you know, say, they said Max B's from that block, you know. Got my boy Sue. It's a lot of, it's a lot of rappers. So it was just, and and now you you're rapping. Um, you young guy rapping. How old were you? Started rapping. When you get that <sighs> that uh, good info from Big L, I had to be seventeen. Seventeen. Okay. Yeah. All right. And, and now, were you? Cause see, I talked to Clips and uh, Goods. Did you know Goods back then? Because Goods was out battling and you know rapping also. You know, but I don't know. I mean, uh, cause he was with Fred the Godson too. Cause when I did the history on Goods, like he talked about, you know, being with uh, battling with, not did he battle Fred the Godson? I don't battling. remember if that was if if he actually battled him. I mean, I remember Fred from battling, but mm -hmm. I don't I don't know. I didn't I didn't meet Goods at at that time. But. Okay, so now you you you're rapping. You, there's no studios. There's no real places for you to actually go and rap. Y'all rapping outside. What was the first time you actually had, uh, uh, I guess maybe you could say a battle or you were outside with everybody rapping when it was not just you rapping? You and whether it be a battle or a cypher or something. When, can you remember that? Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. It was a, um, well, it was a guy, some guys called Loose Cannons, right? Mm -hmm. And shot like back to, it was Fred the God, and it was another dude. I think he called himself Virginia Slim. Like I said, I think when he see this, he gonna he gonna bug out. I remember <laughs> that. So they they put me onto a lot of stuff they didn't even know because they had like a whole like CD of songs, and I I got a copy and I used to hear. I was like, yo, this is fire. Why they not on? I'm like, yo, this is something something's crazy. So and then. At the same time, they would go to block to block, like different neighborhoods, and we just hop out and battle and just get the name up. So it was just something like, 
And we, we you know, every neighborhood you found had had rappers. You know what I'm saying? Just like you know, just like today, mm -hmm. at the time. But it was nowhere to no body to showcase it, and nobody really was like took the you know the the step forward to be like, yo, you know what? This is what we gonna do to make this pop. You know what I'm saying? So we was just going around, hopping out. You know, and it's dangerous now. You know what I'm saying? We we in the Bronx, we in a the, wherever, we in barber shops, whatever. It's a famous one. Online, you could you could YouTube it, right? It's, it's me. I'm going off, just and just had a North Face on. We in a um, we in some barber shop, big. You see Fred the Garden back of me, on P right here, and I think um, French Montana was taping it. You know, he was doing he was doing a um, the, what you call? I didn't even know who he was. He was doing a, um, the cocaine, cocaine CD, city DVDs shit. and shit. So shit was crazy. We was in the middle of um, I forgot where we was at. What project? Morris, whatever them shits in, in, in the Bronx. Shout out my niggas out there. But yeah, that shit was crazy, man. <laughs> yeah. It, now that was all just random. We didn't know what was gonna happen. We just did it because we liked it type shit. We was trying to get our name up. Mm -hmm. There was no way, there's no way to get your name up back then. You know what I'm saying? Like, we just had to, you had to be talked about. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't no YouTube. You know what I'm saying? And damn, it make a nigga seem old. But I'm like when I was doing that shit, <laughs> like one day, one day I'm up front. One day, um, it, this on YouTube too, man. Fucking, what's what's his name? Shout out my man Terrell Blair, right? He takes um, yeah. Shot, yo, a lot of people don't know, but Terrell be doing some work. Yeah, yeah, some work. I met him, man, a few years ago, man, and I ain't gonna lie. You know, sometimes when you um, in media and stuff like that, you just meet a lot of people and you don't know what to take from people. They say, I'm this, I've been here, I, you know, I know this guy, I've been around this long. And I was like, yeah, my man, you know, blah, 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 I'm just gave him respect. I start paying attention, man, he throwing all of these ciphers and these uh, showcases. Like, shout out to Rel Blair, man, jeez. Right, but right. but go ahead, man. And and now I know, he, like you're telling me, there's other people that bring his name up when they talk about the history out there, man. So shout out to Rel, man. Right, right. I mean, he, he definitely was in the culture, and he, I, um, he put me on to some stuff like just getting our name up, and that was just part of the thing. So that kind of started me like being out there, and I think when I. I think I went, I went to jail and when I came, it was I guess, uh, like a brief stint, like a year. And when I came out, Charlie Clips put me on to the Fight Club. And I went there. Talk about that. Well, it was simple. He just said, yo, <laughs> it's a spot where niggas be battling and they paying money. Right. I said, what? I said, where? Tell me where. He said, yo, they do it every Monday. I said, so they pay you battle when you win, the, you know, you could bet money, you like, word up. I said, oh, this is, I can't wait. And th that was like a gold mine for me. He was rapping back then, right? Yeah, he went a few times. Oh, to the Fight Club? Yeah. See, that's one thing, you know what, I think he did mention that shit to me too. You know, Damn. It's a... But it's, they didn't put that footage out. It's like, there's gotta be like... It's I, a conspiracy theory, yo. I ain't gonna lie, when Fight Club see this, they, we need to run down on you. Yo, they got 40 cow battles, murder mook battles. They, shit, I think they even got an Oom P battle. They got motherfucking Sirius Jones battles, Matt Hoffa battles, Arsenal battles. You name it, bro. And and they haven't dropped them. Hi, um, How the Dawn battles. T oh, f Young Young Tay Rock battles. Shit, shit go crazy. Do, do you know why they didn't drop those battles? They, 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 that's classic fucking footage and all those names you're naming I like these are a, household I think, names I think man. Murder Mook came in battle one time yo they, had, yo they had a nigga from Sporty Thieves one time come I don't even know what his, don't start me for like <laughs> say which one is his name if you see this just step up and say yo yeah, that was me word of mother he came and smoked somebody real quick That's what, what was the record they had they, I think they only had like one big record right I think the no pigeons or some shit like that ah that was the sporty days right oh, they man, did he the... came and smoked some and it was a nigga it was a nigga that said he he had a song with Biggie and and and, <laughs> and Diddy 
And it fucked me up because we like, you got a song with Diddy? Like what with Biggie, and you got a song with Biggie. First of all, you like you got a song with Biggie, right? And you and you you hear battling. That's because people had to audition. So um, they looked him up. He dead ass had a song with the nigga. That shit was crazy. Some some shit was Super Cat back in the day. Dude with a um, his name was Red something. He came and was just smoking shit at Fight Club. It was crazy. Not Red Cafe. Nah, hell no, no, no. It was it was. Uh, if you look it up. Whatever you do, you Google search is um, motherfucking Biggie Super Cat. Biggie Super Cat, and it's some other dude on the record, man. He he just be like rah rah Super Cat. Word to my mother. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna think I'm bugging? This is for YouTubers. Whatever, you, you, this is what you gonna do? Look it up. You gonna be like it's him. But anyway, he came. He came to Fight Club. Nigga came with like eggs and shit. Nigga was like, you get the yo. Smack the egg over the pool table. I said, oh shit, this shit crazy. Niggas been doing, <laughs> they been doing annex back then, yo. Shit was crazy. Could could he be the first guy that ever done an antic in battle rap? Arguably, man. That shit was crazy. It was So he had an actual egg and smashed it in his hand. It was part of his, his scheme. He said, <laughs> you get the yolk. <laughs> and whoever he did it to, I don't remember. He was complaining the whole time. Like, yo, you got to watch that shit. You know, it's a pool table still. He still caught some of that shit. Like, yo, yo, watch that shit, my nigga. This and that. Like, this is crazy. Nigga like, shit. And it, that, that's not out. That yeah. battle isn't out? It... Nah, none of these battles. That's like, crazy. Niggas been doing and like I'm a, I'm gonna give you some history, right? When I battled Cardi, right? I battled Cardi and the nigga said a line to me, he said some shit like, shout out my man Cardi. Cause this he my first match and he like he not no first match kind of guy, like how I keep people telling me about Will. So I'm like, yo. So he said some shit like, I chew all you little sour patch niggas. He threw a sour patch at me. <laughs> I was like, yo, what? I like, yo, but you can't see my side. I'm tripping like, yo, watch this shit. Like, yo, these niggas, these niggas is bugging over here, this and that. But <laughs> that, that shit was funny. funny. Yo, so niggas been doing like little dumbass antics back then, but it was all fun. But it's a big conspiracy theory. Whatever happened to them tapes, who wouldn't want to, the battles that they get millions of views now, they got a bunch of them in the, in the, in the vault somewhere. You know how many views they'll get now? To see classic Tay Rock, 40 Cal, uh, Charlie Clips, Arsenal, Hollow. Come on, man. I think they had some shit. Wow. I think they had Murder Mook versus, versus some dude named Verse. Verse. I, I, think, remember he was signed, I think he was Verse. signed to Bad Boy or something. I remember Verse, the name Verse. He was some freestyle nigga. They, they went like, they, that was like the first undecided match they ever had. Shit was crazy, bro. I ain't, like I remember this. Like whoever ever see some of my boy Executive Nick, he if he watched this shit, he gonna be like, oh man, this nigga forty. But it's a big conspiracy theory. I don't know what y'all doing with the tapes. International P, if you watching this, brother, you gotta you holler at me and let's talk about these uh these secret tapes, bruh. Word, it's just a lot of battles. Wow. A lot of battles. That's why. That's why you and I know you hear some of the people from Smack. They probably like they be bringing it up. Like, yo, come on, I was, I was here. This and that, blah blah blah. Yeah, they got shout out Cicero. They got Cicero. We dollar joints. All Damn, that. all them niggas came through. All they are things. sitting on fucking gold, and not not the one. Damn, International P, bring it down. Get the footage. Bring it down. Do I sound like? <laughs> Hold it down. Now, now you mentioned uh, you had to uh, try out. So it's not like now where you know it's like I'm gonna book him, I'm gonna book him, I'm gonna book him, I'm gonna book him. You had to actually try out. Did you have to rhyme? Like, what was the tryout like to actually get on Fight Club? They had like a audition first. Mm -hmm. They they used to not do auditions. They just like it was just a thing. Like you just come like a real Fight Club, like like the people that watched the movie it was you know, set up like that so they had it so that you had to audition because when niggas was just come in off the street and be like yo sign me up it's just like like if you've seen the movie niggas just come and just get bad at you <laughs> <laughs> killed and shit like that you'd be like nah you gotta we gotta see that 
and then and then they start taping it. So after a while, when you taping it, it's not it. It becomes more than just a thing where we bet in to see whatever who won. You know what I mean? It's so like, now there's also tryout tapes that haven't been released. Is that sound accurate? That's arguably so. Yeah. Wow. That's arguably so. Yeah. Yo, they had a beat club shit. Shout out my man Rec. They had a beat club where they was just doing um, who had the they had producers battling who had the best beats and all that. Like this is like, early, early. I mean, like they doing it now. It's a lot of beat battles and shit like that. All right, well, yeah, they had it like they they had the actual judges and all. I mean, just like Fight Club, it just for beats and shit. But yo, wow, you be you know you make you wonder like what the fuck you doing with all these tapes, <laughs> right? Right, who, and who has it? You know what I mean? And again, why are you holding it? What are you holding it for? Uh, at this point, I think they all got damaged. You think the tapes are damaged? I just, it, this gotta be the only reason. It's like, yo, who, it's like, it's like having an old lottery ticket that's worth like 10 million and you just be like, yo, and you're just holding two, it. One, one or two of the numbers is, is like, you could barely see it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, why, why, why are you doing it? That's what I'm saying. It's like, yeah, that doesn't make sense at all why um, the culture would love to see that. Oh, they would love to see it. 15 Minutes of Fame! You are now listening to 15 Minutes of Fame, baby. Let's go! Let's go.